with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back. It's 617 on this Tuesday morning. The sun is starting to rise a little bit out there. Now we're trying to. Trying to. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it. Anyway. <laughs> it's looking pretty dark out yeah. there. Oh, there we go. Williston. It looks yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah they little, got some sunshine. Yeah, we'll have your cloud cover here, so that might be blocking it out more uh, than areas out there where it's sort of broken up right now. So mm -hmm. we also have some rain chances that are moving into the south central. There are light rain chances, but something you may notice. But that's where they need it. Is those west. Oh, you said south, south central. central. Yeah. We need it in the west. <laughs> yeah, we do need but they might get some, right? They might. The, the, There's a little, little bit over if there. If the cap yeah. doesn't form. Yeah, they'll, they'll have a chance. I'm next listening. Yeah, you She's yes, I'm giving you the forecast. <laughs> yeah, 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 I can go home. We'll <laughs> start this off, though, looking at our satellite and radar. Uh, we got some clear skies, again, especially out to the west. Uh, some rain down to the south central. Uh, then those showers and thunderstorms that were out west have really dissipated at this point. They struggled through the night. Nothing severe really ever formed with those. Uh, there wasn't even much in eastern Montana. It just really struggled yesterday as we got through the afternoon. But again, today be a little bit drier. Tomorrow we get more severe weather chances, but one thing we could bring back in tomorrow is smoke. We look at our smoke forecast. It is still light out there. We still have moderate ratings with our air qualities, but some areas you could clear out today uh, more than others. Uh, but as we get into the night into tomorrow morning, we start to see some smoke roll in from the southeast and that's going to move itself in right around midday, at least to the south central, then areas out to the east towards Grand Forks. Again, it's not too heavy. It's still lighter than what we had to start the previous weekend, but it's still noticeable in some places, especially to the north northeast as we get through Wednesday and then finally moves out just have a light smoke through the rest of the week. Temperatures right now are mostly in the mid to upper 60s, but we do got a 70 out in Hazen. That is the warmest area right now with Bismarck right behind it at 69. And then Mobridge has continued to drop was in the 70 at one point now at the 68 uh, for this morning highs this afternoon. Got us back from the lower 70s here in the south central all the way up to the mid to lower 90s out there to the far west, northwest, Williston 91, Beach 90, Sydney 94, Wolf Point 95 are just some of those warmer areas. And then again, those lower 70s in the south central, Bismarck at 76, you got a Linton at 70, Ashley at 71 this afternoon. Wind speeds directions 5 to let's go 15 miles per hour, mostly from the south southeast. These winds do pick up at times, especially to the north. You could see wind gusts 25 to maybe 35 miles per hour today. And then as we get through the rest of the week, Friday looks to be a breezy day uh, with wind gusts possibly up to 40 miles per hour, especially in areas to the north. So expect to see that wind and feel that wind and hear that wind over the next couple of days into the weekend. Uh, severe weather threat, not for today, but for tomorrow. We do have this slight risk out in eastern Montana into the western half of North Dakota, then that marginal risk reaching the central half of the state. The big question for tomorrow is going to be that cap. Will it form? Will it sort of uh, hinder how much severe weather we could see? Uh, but if the cap doesn't form severe weather threats will be hail up to about an inch inch and a half and then wind 60 to 70 miles per hour but again still some questions to answer for your Wednesday precision cast shows us rain chances to the south central move out right around mid morning and then by midday we start to get sunshine that lasts through your afternoon do get some isolated showers tonight uh, you may get a few thunderstorms as well maybe some severe weather out to the eastern portions of Montana but then that moves out we'll have some light rain chances midday Wednesday and then Wednesday afternoon right around 4 or 5 p.m. That's where we'll see these another line of isolated showers and thunderstorms develop in the eastern Montana, moving uh, to the east as we get through the night Wednesday into Thursday morning, then should dry off late Thursday afternoon. Williston five day forecast has got us 90s today, 90s tomorrow, 80s on Thursday and Friday. You're back to the mid 90s Saturday. Dickinson 80s today all the way through Friday, 90s on Saturday. You're my not seven day forecast. So that's got us in the 80s today all the way through Friday and 90 on Saturday. We exit the weekend back in the 70s Monday, Bismarck seven day forecast 70s to the 80s and up to the 90s Saturday before getting back to the 80s. I want to get back out on that pond yeah, too, but now I, see, that I know, but now I'm seeing wind possibilities. Yeah, we'll see. So. It may calm down Saturday afternoon, so you may get that chance Saturday uh, to get out and okay. about, and then obviously we'll see how things sort of carry over into next week, but mm -hmm. it does look like we should stay 70s and 80s next week, so that'll be fine. Pleasant. Yeah. Yes, very pleasant. We'll try to find somebody for a pontoon for you, Stone, that so you thing. can get out on the water. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> might know somebody. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Coming up in today's Ion Egg and Energy.